the birth of a child is a significant life event, and we're honored that you have chosen Cottage Health to provide care and share this event with your family. Here is a brief tour of our hospital and birth center, and important information regarding what you can expect during your stay with us. If you're in early labor or scheduled for a non-urgent procedure, induction, or cesarean birth, please enter through the main Pueblo lobby. If you have any respiratory symptoms, please go to the emergency department entrance, located off Junipero Street. Please call the unit prior to your arrival to inquire about the most current policy for having a visitor or support person with you. You can contact the birth center by calling the hospital at 805-682-7111. Visitor parking is available at the parking structure across from the main entrance. Please use this parking lot and do not park on the street. Upon entering the hospital, all persons will be screened for signs of respiratory illness and their temperature will be taken. The concierge at the desk in the main lobby can help you quickly check in and arrange a wheelchair escort if needed. Please plan to bring in everything you will need throughout your hospital stay, including a car seat upon arrival. The concierge staff can help you bring your items to the unit. If you are in active labor and need immediate assistance, or if you have any respiratory symptoms, please use the emergency entrance located on Junipero Street. If your car is parked outside of the emergency entrance, the car will need to be moved to the visitor parking as soon as possible. Parking in the ER entrance is only 15 minutes. The birth center is located on the third floor. When coming from the front Pueblo lobby, take a right out of the elevators. Following the sunflower pictures will lead you right there. When you arrive at the birth center, push the intercom button and speak to the nurse through the speaker for entrance to the birth rooms. Please fill out your pre-registration form prior to coming into the hospital. Ideally, this will be completed and returned to the hospital prior to your eighth month of pregnancy. Once inside the birth center, you will be greeted by a nurse at the desk. The nurse will verify the information on your pre-registration form upon your arrival. We know that many new moms are concerned about how they will handle pain and discomfort of labor. Our nurses will support you in your choices for pain management. We have many ways to help you be more comfortable and relaxed during labor. Labor tubs, birth balls, adjustable beds, rocking chairs, warm and cold packs, and adjustable heat and lighting in the rooms. We also have wireless monitors available to allow for unrestricted movement. Communicate regularly with your nurse about your comfort needs. We're here for you. Every room has Wi-Fi and a large TV monitor. There you will find a mix of media, including music and videos for relaxation and baby care. Santa Barbara Cottage Hospital is one of a select group of hospitals to meet the stringent requirements for baby-friendly designation. Santa Barbara Cottage Hospital is recognized for providing top-tier care to support breastfeeding, mothers, and their infants. Our birth center also features triage rooms, which are used for preparation for scheduled cesarean birth, evaluating whether the mom is in active labor, and other necessary testing during pregnancy. Fetal heart rate and contractions are monitored closely during labor. The duration of monitoring depends on how the baby is doing, how the mom is doing, if certain interventions were used in labor, and physician orders. Your physician and nurse will work with you during your labor to achieve optimal comfort and movement throughout your labor during any monitoring. Cordless monitoring is also available in every room. This offers mothers the flexibility of movement within the birth room. Every room is equipped with an IV pole and an epidural machine. These are not always used, but are available in every room if needed. Care boards are also located in every room to communicate important information for you and your family. Each care board has a whiteboard marker available for you to write information on the board that will help your providers understand your needs. Each birthing room contains a jacuzzi tub for laboring. These tubs are not licensed for birthing. Our jacuzzi tubs are a fantastic way to offer comfort and massage during your labor. You can have a support person join you in the tub. Please have the support person bring swimwear if they plan to assist you through contractions during labor. Our birth unit has multiple birthing balls for assisting in labor. You may bring your own if you wish. We also offer peanut balls for helping you rest in bed if you choose to get an epidural during your labor. Each room includes an alcove for your support person to sleep in the room. Please call the unit prior to arrival for current policies on having a support person and bringing items from home. You can call the hospital at 805-682-7111 and ask for the birth center to inquire about visitor rules. 
we can provide pillows and blankets in your room as needed. The beds in our birthing rooms can be modified for delivery. Pushing is done in various positions throughout labor. The bed is usually changed to this position shortly before the baby is delivered. Immediately after the baby is born, the baby will be placed skin to skin on the mom's chest. The baby will stay there for about two hours or until after the first breastfeed. Our birth center has two surgical rooms for cesarean births. Everything to support the mom is on the right side of this picture. A warmer and cart are available to help support the baby if needed. Those are on the left of the image. After cesarean birth, both mom and baby will be moved to the recovery room for skin-to-skin -skin bonding and to initiate breastfeeding. Your baby will wear three identification bands during your stay at the hospital. Two of the bands will match the identification band assigned to you and your support person. The third band is a monitoring device that will be placed on your baby's ankle, allowing us to safely monitor the location of your baby within the mother-infant care unit at all times. In our Women's Services Unit, the safety and security of you and your baby is our highest priority. All exits from the birth center and mother-infant care are equipped with a security system and are video monitored. Here's how you can help. Please keep your baby in hospital clothes, t-shirt and diaper, until discharge. If you leave the room or plan to go to sleep, notify your nurse. Do not give your baby or any information about your baby to anyone without a pink Santa Barbara Cottage Hospital photo ID badge. Babies should only be moved outside your room in their bassinet. Please do not pull on or play with the infant security band. If you're concerned about the band, notify your nurse. This is the mother infant unit main desk. Please use the outer hallways for moving around the unit. The inner hallways are for employees only. Postpartum rooms are set up to promote mother baby bonding. Mother infant nurses will come to you to provide care in the room so the family unit can stay together. For example, newborn hearing screens are done skin to skin with mom in the room. The majority of rooms are private. We make every effort to maintain all patients in private rooms. A few rooms are shared rooms. While we do make every effort to ensure that all moms and babies are in private rooms, room availability depends on patient medical needs. We have a nursery in the mother-infant unit. There is a nurse available at all times in this room if needed. The nursery is also equipped in the event your baby has emergency needs. In the nursery, we have a transitional area for newborns who need closer monitoring before transitioning to mom's room. All babies are weighed at birth and daily. Your nurse will normally weigh the baby in your room. We also have warm blankets we can offer to both mom and baby. If you have any questions or need assistance regarding breastfeeding, our lactation support service is available every day from 9 a.m. to 9 p.m. All mother infant nurses have also received specific training and are available to assist with breastfeeding. In the event your baby needs additional treatment, the Neonatal Intensive Care Unit, or NICU, is located close to the Women's Services Unit on the third floor. For helpful tips and information regarding your new baby, please sign up for the Healthy Baby newsletter by visiting cottagehealth.org slash healthybaby if you have not already done so. This concludes our virtual tour. If you have any questions, please contact our Childbirth Education Department at 805-569-8229 or send an email to childbirthed at sbch.org. We're looking forward to helping you welcome the newest member of your family.